don't want to spend a bundle, the iPhone 11 has killer dual cameras and a cheaper price than the iPhone 11 Pro. For a very reasonable $699, the iPhone 11 offers amazingly good low-light photos via its night mode and there's a new ultra-wide lens that lets you fit in more subjects or seen with its 120-degree field of view. Selfies get a serious upgrade too, with a 1-2MP camera that automatically switches to a wider view when you turn the phone to landscape mode. The 6.1-inch LCD on the iPhone 11 isn't OLED great, but it's colorful and bright. A blazing A13 Bionic processor, long battery life and your choice of 6 colors solidify the iPhone 11 as a winner. Should you wait for the iPhone 12? If you want 5G connectivity, it's not a bad idea. But the iPhone 11 is the best iPhone right now and is the best phone overall. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is pricey at $1,299 but no other big screen phone can do as much as this phablet. You get a gorgeous 6.9-inch OLED display with a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate as well as lots of new S Pen upgrades ranging from newer gestures to a smoother 9 milliseconds response time. Plus, the Note 20 Ultra packs one of the most versatile camera setups ever, including a 108MP main sensor, a whopping 50x space zoom and a dedicated laser autofocus sensor to reduce blur. The Note 20 Ultra is also a mini desktop PC in-game console in disguise. With the improved X mode, you can beam photos, apps and more to a nearby TV, and with Xbox Game Pass you can stream more than 100 Xbox titles over the cloud. The Note 20 Ultra works well with your PC, too, as Link to Windows enables you to run Android apps and your laptop as well as get notifications, make calls and more. Add it all up and you have one of the best phones yet. The OnePlus 8 Pro is one of the best phones because it packs so many features into a phone that costs less than premium flagships. You get performance that can match any leading phone in a gorgeous display with a fast 120Hz refresh rate for ridiculously smooth scrolling. Opting for the fastest refresh rate can reduce battery life but set the screen refresh rate at 60Hz and you can expect more than 11 hours of battery life well ahead of what the average smartphone can pull off on our battery test. The OnePlus 8 Pro becomes the first OnePlus phone to support wireless charging, even better, it's the fastest wireless charging we've ever seen. Other phones sport more capable cameras, but the OnePlus 8 Pro 4 rear lenses performed capably in our tests sometimes producing results that match what the best camera phones have to offer. If you want a great Android device, the OnePlus 8 Pro is proof you don't need to spend more than $1,000 to get one of the best phones. What makes the new Google Pixel 4a so special is that it offers almost everything you'd desire in a smartphone for just $349. And it's remarkably compelling for that price. Google's latest mid-range offering contains a gorgeous 5.8-inch OLED screen, solid power from a Snapdragon 730G chipset, clever software features like call screen and Google's handy recorder live transcription app and, of course, that marvel of a 12-megapixel camera, which includes perks like night sight and super res zoom. The only area where the Pixel 4a lags behind the competition is with respect to battery life. Even with a power pack significantly bigger than the iPhone says, it still doesn't last quite as long on a charge. It also can't match Apple's $399 iPhone where performance is concerned. But in practically every other way, Google's new baby Pixel is a fantastically well-rounded handset that everyone who is looking for a cheap phone should consider, with the best photography for the money. The iPhone SE 2020 finishes on the podium of our list of the best smartphones because it delivers exceptional power for under $400.
The A13 Bionic chipset inside the new iPhone SE is the very same one you get in the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. It's a rare feat to see a flagship processor inside a device that is so inexpensive, and it makes the iPhone SE far and away the finest value in the budget phone segment. But it's not exclusively about that wicked fast CPU. The latest baby iPhone also has a solid single-lens 12-megapixel camera, wireless charging, IP67 water resistance and premium build quality. The trade-off to that is the Say's very dated design, owing to its iPhone 8 roots though Touch ID loyalists and users who find themselves pining for a more compact handset may be able to overlook that in favor of everything else the iPhone SE offers. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has vaulted past the Android competition to become the top camera phone thanks to a new night mode for much better photos in low light and a versatile ultra-wide lens. Plus, improved smart HDR gives you superior portraits. Apple has upped the ante on video quality too, with extended dynamic range and smooth cinematic stabilization. The iPhone 11 Pro Max also offers the fastest processor yet with its A13 Bionic chip, a more durable design and a 6.5-inch OLED display so bright that it makes other phones look dingy. We wish Apple offered more than 64GB of storage but once you add in nearly 12 hours of battery life, fast charging and more immersive audio, you have the nearly perfect smartphone. If you want the best phone for lasting all day long, get the Moto G Power. This budget phone from Motorola makes the most of its massive 5000 mAh battery, enduring for more than 16 hours on our battery test in which we have a phone surf the web over LTE until it runs out of juice. You don't have to pay big bucks for that kind of battery life. The Moto G Power costs just $249 which is even cheaper than Apple's iPhone SE. You'll make some compromises though like an LCD screen instead of an OLED panel and a hefty 7 ounce weight. Still, the Moto G Power's performance and camera keep pace with other phones for its price range and it even manages to include triple cameras though not a telephoto lens. All told, it's a pretty polished phone for less than $300 and you'll never have to worry about finding a place to plug in. The OnePlus Nord may be OnePlus's attempt to build a budget phone, but you wouldn't know that from using the device. OnePlus has packed in premium features from a screen with a 90Hz refresh rate to a total of six cameras on the front and back that you typically don't find on a phone that costs less than $500. It's that screen that blew us away when testing the OnePlus Nord. Not only do you get the fast refresh rate, a feature that's been restricted to handsets that cost hundreds of dollars more, the 6.44-inch mold panel on the Nord is bright enough to use an even blinding sunlight and able to bring out the blacks and shadows when you watch videos and play games. You'll make some compromises with the OnePlus Nord. The phone's Snapdragon 765G chipset can't match the performance of the A13 Bionic-powered iPhone SE, though that Qualcomm chipset does mean the Nord can connect with faster 5G networks. Despite all those cameras, a main lens, ultra-wide sensor, macro lens and depth sensor on the back and a wide-angle shooter joining a regular selfie cam on the front, OnePlus's photo processing software still renders colors coolly. But for this price, it's hard to argue with the features you do get. We have only one major complaint about the OnePlus Nord, it's not easily available in the US. With sales restricted to Europe and India initially, we hope that the Nord proves so popular that OnePlus can't resist offering US shoppers this great smartphone value. Samsung has three strong phones in its Galaxy S20 lineup but the Galaxy S20 Plus is the one that places highest on our best phone list because it offers the best overall mix of features for the money.
you get a gorgeous 6.7-inch display with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate 5G connectivity and fast Snapdragon 865 processor, plus relatively long battery life at least in 60Hz mode. The only features missing compared to the higher-end Galaxy S20 Ultra are a 108MP camera and more powerful space SMA trade-offs most people will be willing to make to save $200 by opting for the $1,199 Galaxy S20 Plus. That's especially true since the Galaxy S20 Plus boasts some pretty impressive cameras in its own right. The new sensors capture bright and colorful photos and the 3x lossless zoom is more powerful than what the iPhone 11 Pro Max delivers. The regular Galaxy S20 Plus is a good choice at $999 too if you prefer a smaller display. But if you want a big screen and future-proof 5G for years to come, you're going to love the Galaxy S20 Plus. The OnePlus 8 might not offer super fast wireless charging of its pricier sibling, the OnePlus 8 Pro, but it's a compelling Android value at $699. That's largely because it has the very same Snapdragon 865 processor, along with a dazzling 90Hz display and a compelling design that comes in lots of eye-catching colors. You also get 5G connectivity and colorful 6.5-inch OLED display. If we had one gripe about the OnePlus 8, it'd have to be the phone's disappointing triple lens camera system, which simply doesn't capture photos as sharp and colorful as those from the firm's more premium device. That said, if you can excuse images that look good but perhaps not great, the OnePlus 8 is one of the best smartphones for the money.